Yay! So, Kerbal Space Program is in version 1.0 experimentals phase. So, I thought before the new aerodynamics model takes hold, I got to launch one more monstrosity that uh, can get into orbit without, well, breaking up in an actual atmosphere because it's aerodynamically super unstable. I wanted to try out something with cargo bay doors and using them as, well, sort of hangar doors and that's why I decided to build this little thing that you are just watching at the moment. So the main core is just some really big uh, Mark III cargo bays and around that some fuel tanks and some cockpits to make it look cooler. And it's kind of that giant wall of spaceship that comes right at you when you look at it from the front. But, of course, it also needs some kind of propulsion and some crew quarters, as you can see here. And reaction wheels, of course, to move that thing. Uh, that thing actually weighing more than 1000 tons uh, with full tanks. So yeah, you need a lot of reaction wheels to actually get that moving. I dubbed this one the Star Hammer because, well, just watch when it's finished because it kind of has this distinct shape of somewhat that looks like a hammer. And also I'm pretty sure you can smash something when you run at it in f with full speed. So just lining up the upper deck there and building the tail, adding some engines, covering up the doors, adding some what of a bridge, and also trying to line up everything. As you may have noticed, I've sped this up by, well, a lot. I think this is 16 times regular speed, so you don't have to sit through hours of building process. Here I'm just doing some more stuff with doors, or somewhat that will be doors as soon as I'm finished. I, well, usually when I'm doing the big cruiser stuff, I'm using nuclear engines to, well, use the most delta V possible. But in this case, I've decided to go with classic chemical rockets, them being the Kerbodyne KR-2L engines, which are rather magnificent, to be honest. They have, well, for their size and their thrust, they have great uh, specific impulse, and it's even better than the mainsail, to be honest, because if I would put a mainsail on there, I get the same amount of delta V, but a little, well, not exactly the same amount of delta V, but very close. But I would also get a lower thrust to weight ratio, and I want a higher thrust to weight ratio with this because I'm aiming to launch this directly from the pad merely with some, well, some uh, solid rocket boosters attached to it. Uh, the side cargo base I'm using to hide a docking port because, you know, there is not really uh, a hidden docking port for the uh, senior docking port uh, thingies. And when I want to dock this thing with something else, I really want a big connection, a stable connection, and therefore I'm going to hide the docking ports inside those small Mark III cargo bays. Here you can see me switch the engines around a little bit, mixing it up a bit, finishing the tail, and we're getting close to completion, just adding some more solar sails, some lights for some ambience feeling, and of course some struts and just another layer of tank so this curve kind of looks a little bit better than it would have if i would not have added it this is really purely for optical reasons and does not fit any well function at all it just tries to look badass or at least i try to make it look badass so Let's try this out. And here we are already lifting in the air from the launch pad. I have attached, well, it's four clusters of four solid rocket boosters, so it's like, well, a lot. 
and as you already can see I'm doing the turn to uh, get it in the right direction to face a 90 degree angle to get a nice clean orbit and after boost to separation we're going to speed this up a little bit because yeah there did there didn't happen anything special uh, up to the end of the flight uh, up to orbit so it's a little boring maybe for those of you who know your Kerbal stuff. There you go, we have booster separation and the star hammer ascends into the skies above Kerbin at, well, I think this is 16 times regular speed. Yes, it is. I just checked in uh, my video editing tool, which, by the way, is just the Windows Movie Maker, I have to admit to my shame. I have not had the time to shop around for a decent video editing tool, but I think I need to do that very soon because I'm getting to the limits of this app, really. So we're cruising to Apple Apps. We have enough Delta V in the tank to make a circularization burn. There we go. We're circularized and we already hit the lights and extended the solar panel. So we have electricity to boot and we we'll just skip around to the next uh sunrise and we get into position and then i'm trying out the hangar base or at least first the docking ports there we go some small docking ports the big docking port as i mentioned earlier we're opening up the antenna looking good and now we're opening the main hangar bay or cargo bay or whatever you want to call it we have two senior docking ports and an airlock inside and look at that a nice big exit for well 2.5 meter craft something about around that size can fit in here we also have a smaller hangar on the top for 1.25 meter parts and the same thing on the bottom. If you are a military inclined person, you could probably get some very big missiles in there as well and use this as a weaponized cruiser, but I'm not really into that. So, and on the back, we also have some uh, bays for well, stuff. I'm, to be honest, I just put them there because I had no idea what else to do with that space in the back and just added the doors for visual effects. And there it is, the Starhammer. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.